Hello Stampers! My name is Linda Bedinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Normally you don't see my face when I do my videos. I'm trying something a little new. Uh, today I am back after being gone pretty much all week um, with uh, the follow-up video on the Everything is Rosy uh, suite and I will be uh, giving you some more samples of what you can do with that suite and I have six or seven cards for you today so let's just get started and I'm going to move my camera here and get it down where you can see my work surface so here is the information on the everything is rosy suite um, and it is uh, all kinds of material in here there's this beautiful designer series papers, some die cut flowers, some die cut labels, the stamp set, the um, die set, two spools of ribbon, some of the uh, shimmer paint in rose gold, and then these mirror embellishments that go with this kit. Now, uh, originally I had shown you a card, this card, was the one that I did originally when I unboxed this kit and um, I had somebody ask me for a little bit more detail about what I did to get this piece coming across here and uh, I'm going to do that uh, in this video as well as show you some of the other things that I've done with it and I've really had fun with it um, so there's all of this beautiful paper and I've started to use mine so some of mine is in pieces now and we have this rose gold which is similar to the copper and we have uh, all different kinds of patterns here and we have some pretty florals and this sweet little uh, floral piece here and let's see what else have we got in here um, and I, I get to tell you that I've been messing around with this all day and I have so many different kinds of cards and I haven't even begun to scratch the surface. I clearly could make tons and tons of cards out of the material in this suite. So there's the, seri the designer series paper and then the foil paper then these are the cutouts that are available, labels and flowers. These are the copper cutouts. You get two pages of each of these. You can see I've started to use some of mine. And you get the laser cut flowers and I've used a few of those. And um, let's see, I wanted to share with you the stamp set. And the stamp set is two or three different florals here that are just beautiful. This big beautiful flower here, a little bit smaller one, and this one could be used as the center for this, but I used it as a separate flower. Then there's a little cluster of leaves and flowers here. These are little flowers, dots, leaves, different kinds of leaves. There's a thank you down here, dear friend, congratulations, some um, time to celebrate all the lovely things in life starting with you. Uh, let's see, what does this one say? This one says, don't let worry spoil your happy. That's interesting. Uh, and then, may your birthday be filled with pretty things. It's a beautiful stamp set. You can see that that's about five, uh, five and a half inches by about four. So it's a, a nice big stamp set. And then the die set that comes with it has this beautiful piece here, and I'm going to pull that out because I want to talk a little bit about how I made this card. And then it cuts out the leaves, these leaves, let me bring this over this way so you can see, these leaves, and it cuts out the several different sizes of flowers, cuts out these leaves. Um, and these other really pretty leaves that are like the ones here in the in the die cuts and in the in the designer series paper. Uh, very beautiful uh, die set, very complete. Um, 
then uh, this is the mirrored elements and you can see I've used quite a few but I have more left than I have used and uh, let's see this is a bigger representation of that stamp set so you can see a little clear more clearly all of the component pieces that are in there it's just beautiful it's got so many pretty piece, pieces to it I'm going to move that off to the side and I'm going to move this off to the side and let's just get started on this particular card I used a knight of navy base made it top folding and then I used this paper behind but the first thing I did was to take my die and this die um, when put across your paper this way it's intuitive to try to put it that way to get it to cut the edge but that's not the way it cuts what you do is you set this across your paper and I'm going to try and set this up pretty much just the way I did for cutting this and I cut my die this way um, and so when I peeled it off I had kind of a ragged edge on this side then I turned it around and I did it again on this side and so that I ran the die through going both directions and this then centerpiece then just peels completely away and then all I did was clean up my angles with my trimmer here to get that straight edge and then replace this along the angle here and with that piece open like that I put a piece of the designer series paper in this beautiful melon mambo here and it adds some decoration to the inside of the card as well so that is what I did there and when I embossed with this uh, stamp set I embossed in copper and uh, it worked out just beautifully and then I used some other die cut leaves that are in this I think I used the die cut leaves and this piece uh, almost the most of anything the the die cut leaves are absolutely beautiful so um, I can't show today every single card making every single card but I will explain it and I hope that explains this one again I ran my die with the straight edge away from the angle that I wanted and ran that through then I turned it around and ran it through on the other side and you could make this band be as big as you wanted but I didn't want it to be very big and then I cleaned up the edges that were left on my trimmer here and here and replaced this little strip that came out as the result of my die cutting right back in here across the designer series paper and if that's not clear please um, let me know and I will do uh, some more detailed instructions um, which I can send to whoever would like them okay so that's that card I'm going to put that one up here and I'm going to start bringing in some of the cards that I did now this one is very simple and yet I think it's absolutely stunning and I used this die cut again and what I did was I put this along the edge of my paper here and it left me a little embossed edge here and then the die cut and everything else tears away and so I used then the die cut leaves here um, and this piece here was originally um, got a little little sticky there this piece here was originally this very long piece that had some cutouts in the handles and um, I decided to just trim it down and then I can use the other pieces that are left there to do something else with but I just needed a small piece and if you cut it from close to the end you still have quite a bit of one side left to to do use um, and so you get lots of these and I used a few of all of them and so this is very simple using the foil I made it the full size of the card used the die cut used some of the laser cut flowers embossed my thank you and on the inside I just used a set of the die cut leaves 
So that is the second card that I made using this suite. The next card I made uh, is this one, and I used different of the designer series paper and some of this designer series paper, and I made three banners, uh, a longer one and a shorter one in this pretty pink, uh, sweet little pattern here, and then one in the bolder Melon Mambo, and I used a white card base here, and I put a strip of the copper down here some of the die cut leaves and one of the cutouts here, the laser cut flowers. And I used a strip of the copper or the rose gold along here and used this. Uh, this is one of the labels that comes and is available. Here it is there and let me see. Here it is here before it's been torn out and it comes out like this. And so that is what I did, and I need a bunch of congratulations card. I've had several people on my team recently promote, and so I need to send some congratulations cards out. So uh, I put one of the copper flowers up here, and then on the inside, again, just the copper, the leaves, and one of the flowers here that's been die cut. The next one I did, and I mostly used white bases. This is a Whisper White base, and this is one of those beautiful designer series paper. And I cut a strip here that was two inches by five and a quarter so that it would go from top to bottom of my panel here. Then I then I used one of the larger labels here and stamped my sentiment in Night of Navy. Then I used some of the mirrored elements on here. And then I used in the stamp set um, these little dots. Here they are, right here. And I just used Versamark and a little bit of the copper powder and was able to get kind of a little pattern going there. I thought I'm really pleased with the way that one came out. And that's this is the first one I'm using the um, beautiful ribbon that comes with this. This is the Knight of Navy with the rose gold edging on it. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's a full roll of ribbon. So, I, like I said, I barely scratched the surface. The other ribbon that comes with it is this ruched ribbon in the Melon Mambo, and you'll see later that I've used that one as well. So that's what I did there, and on the inside, I just stamped with Versamark several of the images here, including these little dots, and used the copper powder to emboss them. And so that is the fourth card that I made with this set. Then um, this one here, I made using a white base, I used two of the different uh, papers here. This is the same one as here. And then this is a beautiful leaf pattern in there. And I used the simple thank you, some of the mirrored elements, and a, a die cut a bunch of copper flowers here. And on the inside, I put a strip of this beautiful copper leaf paper. So um, pretty simple, but I think very striking. So that is my card number five. Uh, I guess I made eight. So this is another one. And what I did was I put a piece of the, of the, um, oh, <laughs> I can see here. I got this started and I never actually finished it. Uh, so maybe we can finish this one. I'll set it aside for now, uh, but you can see the elements on it. And my intention was to put this on a card front, so let's just do that. So I'm going to place it on the front of my card here, centered, so it has not lots of nice layers, which I think makes a card look awfully rich. And on this one, I used some of the die-cut flowers, and then I cut a two-inch strip of the designer series paper this is the designer series paper. So I cut a two inch strip and then I cut it two, two, and two so I could make these three diamond shapes. 
and uh, I put the two bottom ones flat on the card and this one up on dimensionals and then wrapped my ribbon around the copper piece here. Die cut a few of the leaves here and then I found that um, this embellishment set, The Happiness Blooms Enamel Dots, has the Knight of Navy Dots. And so I used that on this card front here to do some decorating there. And on this one, I also didn't finish the inside because I hadn't had the inside done. So let's just do that. I'm going to take uh, one of these, and, and it's a much larger one, but it uses exactly the same colors. And what I'm going to do is put a little bit of snail on the back of this one and set it down right on the inside of the card. And then I think I will use some of these Knight of Navy enamel dots, put them into place around my die cut piece. And there we go. That one is now finished. <laughs> that is card number six. And uh, then I did one that was pretty much off the reservation. <laughs> what I did was I used the stamp set and created my own DSP here. I stamped the largest of the flowers, this one, randomly around my page. And then I used this little bunch of flowers here. And I used Grapefruit Grove stamped off once to add some little floral details in here. Then I used my dots here in Knight of Navy stamped off. And then I used this flourish of um, leaves here and I stamped those leaves in Old Olive. And then I used the dots again and I put some black dots in the inside of the flowers. Then I stamped my sentiment here in Melon Mambo. And on the inside, I just stamped those leaves down the side here. And then I used this little flower piece here to go back and add some Melon Mambo. And I think that came out really pretty. I put the ruched ribbon around and then put my sentiment on. I'm looking at that. doesn't look very straight. So you, you be more careful than I was. <laughs> so that one is card number seven. And then this is the last one that I did. And I used two of the designer series papers, cut four inches by three inches, and I glued them together and then wrap the ribbon around both of those pieces and use both of the ribbons on this one. Use some of the mirrored elements and one of the die cuts and another one of the labels here and did my second congratulations card. So uh, there is um, the cards that I did. And I have to tell you, I could easily make probably three or four Four, maybe more, probably more, of each of these designs and still not use all of the material in this little suite. There's just an awful lot of material here. And I hope this gives you some inspiration on some different kinds of things. I tried to make them as different as I could so that uh, there was something here that might appeal to um, just about everybody. And um, this suite is still available for order through the end of this month. So we've got another four days that you can order this suite. It's $80, uh, but you get the designer series paper, the stamp set, the die set, the shimmer paint. You get the ribbon, but there's an awful lot of material here and it's definitely well worth the money and beyond. But if you've already gotten it, hoping, hopefully you get a little inspiration of what else you can do with this set. 
Um, thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I do so appreciate it. Um, and this set is available for order on my website, www.lbedinger.stampinup.net, or you can get to it through my blog, www.inkandingenuity.com. And if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. And or you could join my team. Um, it's always a good deal to join. Uh, it's $99 for $125 worth of product. It'd be lovely to have you on my team. We are getting ready to launch the new catalog. So there's a couple things that are going away. This set is going away at the end of the month. And then my paper share, you can be involved in my paper share. You have to sign up by the 29th. So uh, that gives us another couple of days there as well um, that you can sign up for that. That's $49 and you get uh, 14 sets of designer series paper. Virtually all of the designer series paper in the new catalog comes to you as a result of the paper share along with the colored vellum that's going to be available to us this year. It's in green, yellow, and yellow and pink. It's just gorgeous. We're going to be able to do some really fun things with that. Uh, okay, that's it for me today. I'll be back soon um, with more uh, cards, more projects, more tips. Bye! <music>